idle footsteps. This thesis explores themes of cultural reconciliation and decolonization in the design of a new collection center at the University of Melbourne. The proposal archives and displays the university's vast and diverse collections, including art, cultural, scientific, and historic artifacts. Rather than consolidating these objects in a single building, this project develops a distributed approach that creates a cultural journey through the university campus. The project interrogates the colonial axis of the historic campus and seeks to foreground suppressed narratives, including ecological and First Nations histories. There are three main interventions along the central axis. Firstly, a collections gallery at the traditional front gate. Secondly, an archival gallery, which follows the central axis underground and through the existing South Lawn car park. And finally, a renewed Union Theatre on the site of the old National Museum, the old quad axis. In the 19th century, the University of Melbourne's Parkville campus was planned along a deliberately symbolic central axis, which established the old quadrangle as the symbolic heart of campus. This axis skewed the university away from Melbourne's central business district and made it an authoritative site of societal prestige and elite knowledge. The old quadrangle axis trampled over a known site for trapping short finned eels amongst First Nations peoples, the Wurundjeri. The imposition of the axis represents a literal and symbolic scattering of the Wurundjeri to the periphery announcing new colonial ownership and control. Intervening on the historic axis. The design response engages with the symbolism of this axis. A gradual return of marginalized First Nations knowledges to the center is aimed at, proposing a kind of reconciliation on campus. Intervention one, Graddon Street Gallery. A concise collection center inflects the historic axis, dissolving its linearity with the possibility of culturally diverse knowledges within. The traveller to the university is drawn across a generous plaza landscaped with pre-colonial native grasses and into the museum's entrance. Here, an atmospheric void shrouded in heavy curtains functions as a spatialized acknowledgement of country. Intervention 2, South Lawn Archival Gallery. Leaving the Grattan Street Gallery and walking along the axis, the traveller meets a an existing flight of stairs to the university's South Lawn. A carved entrance invites the traveller into an underground archival gallery where wells of light fall from careful structural punctures in the existing concrete shell structure. University archives that stretch outwards through operable storage racks into the centrality of the axis cause the visitor to weave in and out, changing the way the symbolic path manifests and positioning the collections as the very thing capable of altering the spatial legacy of the campus. Intervention three, Union Theatre Renewal. After exiting the archival gallery, the traveller arrives at the forgotten site of the First National Museum of Australia, a symmetrical housing of colonial Australian artefacts for dissection and ownership, in what is currently the university's student union building. The parts of Union House sitting on axis are conceptually dissolved by the replacement of disused building fragment, uh, fabric with pre-colonial landscaping, leaving the shell of the 1970s colonnaded facade and unearthing the buried Union Theatre. The exposed ruins invite the spill of social and performance space freely into campus. Here, remnant traces of the National Museum stand in the walls of the Union Theatre, a colonial fragment transformed at the end of the axis. Institutional access to critical cultural spine. This project's key idea is to, readapt is to adaptively reuse the inherited spatial framework of the old quad axis as a renewed cultural spine altering what was once an organizing line that reinforced the institution's prestige and authority, the axis is now inverted and reimagined as a critical spine that allows the campus and collections to be reshaped by travelers on a day-to-day -day basis, suggesting new pathways towards re cultural reconciliation.